Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over translations math in relation to transformations and geometry. First we'll go over what translations are, then we'll look at translation properties and rigid motion. We'll look at two different examples and then you can try the practice questions on your own at the end of this video. So first let's start off with what are translations? Translations are a type of transformation in geometry where we take a point line or shape and move it up, down, left, or right on a coordinate plane. So here we see, we have an example of a translation right here. So notice that we just went from square A, B, C, D to square A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. We're going from this square to this square. And all we did was just move it a couple of units up and a couple of units over. So that's all we did here. So if you look at each point, for example, if we look at point A to point A prime, you'll see that we went one, two, three, four, five, six points to the right, and then one, two points up. If you checked out each coordinate pair of coordinate points, you would see that they all went six points to the right and two units up. So if we looked at B to B prime, you'll see that we also went six units to the right and two units up. One, two, three, four, five, six and then up one, two. So that's what a translation looks like. That's what a translation is. Um, so here are some properties of translations and rigid motion. So when a shape line or a point is translated, the shape retains rigid motion, meaning that its length, area, and angles of the line or the shape are unaffected by the transformation. So when that happens, when we translate something, that, that just means the angle values remain the same, and parallel and perpendicular lines remain the same, meaning they maintain the same direction. So we're not like flipping the shape, um, that would be rotation. We're not reflecting the shape, that would be a reflection. They'd keep the same exact direction. And the last thing is that the length, area, and perimeter all remain the same. If we wanted to write out the coordinate points of our square A, B, C, D before the translation, and then our new square A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime after the translation, um, let's write them out and see if we can find a pattern. We just said we move six units to the right and two units up. So let's just write out each and every coordinate point before and after the translation. We want to think of a rule where we go six units to the right and then two units up. So if we're going six units to the right, we're moving along the x-axis um, over by six units. So we're going to be adding six units. So let's write a general rule up here. So general rule for this translation particularly. We have p, x, y, and then we're going to be going six units to the right. So this will be affecting the x-coordinates because X coordinates go left and right. So we're gonna be adding six units, just like we did with these two points here. Because we added six units to negative three. Now for going up, we go up two units. So going up or down is going along the Y axis. So that's gonna affect the Y coordinate. And then if you look at our new point A prime, it becomes three, five. So here, since we're going up, we're gonna be adding two, y plus two, to our y coordinate. And that's how we get three plus two, which gives us five. So let's do each one, one step at a time. So B prime is equal to negative one, our original coordinate, plus six, because we're adding to the x coordinate, six units. And then we have three plus two, which will just give us five, five. And does that check out? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, so this is just another way of looking at it by using the rule instead of just looking at the coordinates. But both are right, and this is just a different way to look at it. And then we have C prime, we have negative three, but now we're gonna be adding six units to the X coordinate and then we have a one and then we're going to be adding two units to the y coordinate and this will give us c prime which is 
3-3. And if we check our work, we got 3-3, three, three, right? 1-2-3, one, 1-2-3. Two, three, one, two, three. So this all makes sense. D prime is going to be negative 1 plus 6 and then 1 plus 2 moving over up those two units over y which gives us 5 3 and if we look on our coordinate plane 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 so this all checks out so this is all the translations are so here we derived our rules based on the translation from square a b c d to the new square a prime b prime c prime d prime but based on this we can make a general rule on translations so here's like the general rule for all translations we have the original point represented by p x comma y and when we translate it it becomes x plus or minus h representing the horizontal shift so that's when we're moving across the x-axis so if we move to the right we're going to be adding to the x-coordinate and if we move to the left we're going to be subtracting from the left coordinate and comma y plus or minus k so comma the y coordinate and this is a vertical shift moving up or down along the y-axis so if we're adding that means we're going to be translating up and adding units on to our y coordinate and if we're moving down we're going to be moving our shape or our line down and subtracting from the y coordinate. So now that we have our rules, let's look at our example. Our first one we have triangle ABC undergoes a translation represented by a triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. What type of translation is happening here? So they just want us to give us a rule of what's going on here. So we don't even need to translate anything. We just need to pick a pair of points that match before and after translation. So let's pick A, a to A prime right because our triangle is going this way this is our original triangle and then it becomes this one so we're picking a pair of points and then we're just going to count how many units to the right we go so we go one two three plus three units so already we can fill in part of our answer we know that point x y becomes p prime. So this is the rule for this translation. So any point um, for this triangle, we have its our original point, and then it becomes x plus 3, which we just found because we're moving three units to the right. And then how many units up? So how many units are we going up? Are we going to be adding 1, 2, so plus 2. So we're going to be adding 2 to the y-coordinate and that's our rule and you can check your answer by choosing another pair of coordinates if you look at C we're gonna be doing the same thing we go one two three three units to the right and then two units up plus two so it checks out and that's our answer okay next up we have another question here example number two what translation maps line segment RT onto line segment R prime T prime? So notice this time, so we're gonna notice this time we'll be finding the rule again. So let's write out um, P of X, Y, and it's gonna become P prime of, we don't know yet. Let's take a look. We'll look at two corresponding points, so R and R prime, and we wanna identify how many units to the, this time we're going to the left because we're going to be traveling this way so let's see we have one two three four so this is going to be x minus four so we're subtracting each x coordinate of our line by four and then how many are we going down we have one two so minus two so this is minus four and that's minus two so we're going down by two, we're gonna subtract two units from each coordinate of RT. And that's our answer. Yeah, so for these, these two examples, they didn't actually ask us to translate it or anything. We just needed to find the rule and understand how to translate something. And if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The answers are in the link in the description below. Also, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below.
Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.